Does my hair look okay? So I'm picking up some bait for tonight because Lord willing, I'm going fishing. I will video the whole thing. However, if it's actually like a decent video and I catch some fish, it's not gonna be on the vlog. I'm gonna make a whole separate video for that. But I was thinking about something I said on yesterday's vlog and I mentioned something in passing and I'm like, you know what? That deserves a whole full conversation. And I think that's what we're gonna talk about today. How much is God in control? Some people are gonna watch the rest of this video just because that statement makes them mad. Some people are gonna be curious, but let's really talk about it. I don't have all the answers, but let's have a discussion. Well, I got my bait. And since I forgot my cooler was not in my truck, I had to buy a little cooler, but that's all good. So I feel like it's a rather large task to try to answer a question like that in a 10 to a 20 minute vlog. But let's just hit some of the major points. Let's just hit some of the biggest, I don't even know. Oh, I got my hair cut today. Did I say that? I don't even know if it's going to be arguments because I don't even really want to argue. It's not an argument, but what is going to be the biggest questions or concerns that we have for that question right there how how much control does God have is God in full control and let me start this way that the whole the whole reason that I want to have this conversation is not because that I want to be argumentative and say if you believe this you're wrong because honestly I'm I'm the kind of person who I do have a lot of things that are 100% concrete in my heart and they're not going to move and it's not going to change no matter what However, I think that there are some things that you should always be humble about and be willing to listen to other people and listen to conversations because if we all just make up our mind and that's it, we're closed-minded about everything, then we never have the opportunity to learn and grow. And I think that is, I think that's important. I do want to get to the, the discussion of what does scripture say about God being in full control? What does scripture say about God being in control. Besides the fact that we know that God is omniscient, he's everywhere, he's omnipotent, he's he's all powerful, but all powerful and all controlling are, are two completely different things. But let's just start here because I think it is something that sparks conversation the most. And that is, how do you have a God that is 100% in control and also have millions, billions of people who have their own free will? Because I feel like just that statement right there, you can't have both. How do I have free will, but you have in control, but, but you're in full control. If you are in 100% full control, then you control me and you control everything that I do. If you don't control everything that I do, then you don't have full control and I have free will. So it's one of those things. Let's just start there and let's talk about the dynamic of how do we have free will and him be 100% in control. Side note, it's a really beautiful day. I think just that statement right there can prove a lot about this whole conversation about God being in control. Is he really in absolute control of everything or does he give us free will to act? There's a lot of things that happen in this world, not because that God is, you know, moving things around like a, like a chess piece, but because people have free will. God gave people free will. And, and the funny thing is, is I don't think anybody debates that. I think that everybody says, well, man has free will, but also I hear a lot of people saying, well, God is in control. And I think that you can't have absolute of both. You can't have absolute free will and you can't have absolute control. Now, before I start, you know, feeling like, you know, I'm taking the deity away from God, like God, I believe that God is in control in the grand sense of God is the creator of the universe. He's the ruler, the master of the universe. But I also think that God has set his law and his word and God gave the, the authority of this world to man and man gave that authority away to Satan. Now, you know, we believe in the Bible that, that Jesus came and he took that authority back. But that authority is only taken back and it's only lived out and operated in somebody who is in Christ and accepted Christ. What about everybody? else you know who, who what sway are they under and I think it's a really close related statement but also well God didn't control it but God allowed it 
And to that, again, I say, do we really believe that God is sitting at an administrative desk and every single thing that happens in this world gets pushed in front of God like a piece of paper saying, God, will you allow this or will you not? Every every instance where there's been cancer in the world, it's been a piece of paper and it's been Satan or whoever saying, God, do you allow, is this allowed? Can this person get cancer? And God's saying, yep, approved. Give them cancer. They can have it. They can have it. Nope, I don't allow it. Don't let them have cancer. How about murder? How about just bad things? The Bible talks about how it rains on the just and the unjust. And I may have mentioned this yesterday. I know I shot a video about it. I don't know if, I I can't remember if I put the video in the vlog. But Jesus talked about, I think it's John 16, I looked it up. But Jesus talked about in this world, you will have tribulation. Why did Jesus say that if God is in control of everything, God's just allowing tribulation everywhere? He says, no, because men are evil and Satan still comes to still kill and destroy. There's another good point. If Satan comes to still kill and destroy, does that mean that God is in heaven saying, Satan, just do, I have the authority and I could stop you right now, but I don't really want to. Just steal, kill, and destroy all of my children and all of my people. Everybody, just do whatever you want to do. So is that what we believe when we say God's in control, but yet he's just like, man, whatever, you know, steal from him, kill him, destroy him, whatever you want to do. So honestly, I probably should have started with this right here, but here's my view on it. And, and let's, let's have a conversation about it. Um, my personal take is that God is sovereign in the way of God is all powerful. Absolutely all powerful. God is almighty, but all powerful doesn't always, and I made the statement a minute ago and I'll explain what I mean. All powerful doesn't always mean all control. So I believe that God is all powerful as in he has the ability to do whatever he wants, but he chose to set this world in motion and give control of this world to men and women in Christ. So I think that could technically could God come down right now and do whatever he wanted to do? Absolutely. He's God. He could, but he's not going to because he has he he has set the 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 ownership, the control, the authority and all of that to the children on earth. The Bible talks about how he's given us the authority. The Bible talks about how we are to go and we are to be the the light of the world, how we are the ones who are to go. Uh, Just rewind back to Adam and Eve. You get a really good sense of how God wanted it to be in the beginning before anything ever got messed up. He created the world. He put Adam in the world. He said, now go rule, reign, and subdue the earth. So my personal opinion, everything I know about God, everything I know about the Bible, I don't think that God is 100% in control in the way of, you know, he is micromanaging and I can't do. And I just, I I think about all the murders that's ever been committed. Like, so God, God controlled that. So, well, no, he didn't control it, but he allowed it. And it's like, so God was just okay with those people dying. God was okay with those people committing murder. And then I also think about, you know, everybody in this world who's ever committed suicide. God's 100% in control, but he allowed those people to take their own life. You know, like where, where do we even get, and now I'm really interested because I don't know that I've ever found, I'm trying to think of a scripture right now that's, that talks about how God is fully in control. Like, like God is all powerful. I'm I'm sorry. I, I, I believe God's all powerful, but God is fully in control, micromanaging the earth. super quick wardrobe change and we're headed to the beach. No, but for real, after uh, the week that I've had, I told Shauna, I'm going fishing tonight. Um, Some much needed uh, R&R. And fishing is not even that relaxing. It's a whole lot of up and down and a whole lot of work, but it's my rest and relaxation. So I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I started a conversation that I do not have. um, I don't have enough wisdom to finish. Uh, I haven't done a ton of biblical research. 
And having said that, I don't want to dive too too much further into it because uh, honestly, I'm not. It, I I know what I believe in my heart, but it's one of those things where if you can't back it up with scripture, then I'd rather not dive very deep off into it. You know, I'd rather not like you know hop on the vlog and say, guys, this is it, and and run the risk of I. I treat this platform with, I know I'm silly a lot, but also I want to have a lot of respect for this platform because even though I don't consider myself to be like a Bible scholar or a Bible teacher or anything like that, I know that there are some people who watch this to learn, to grow, and I'm held responsible for the things that I say on, on the platform that God has given me. So let's just, let's just simply put it like this. I think that there's a very, very good chance, oh wow, that the sun is bright. So I think that there is a very, very good chance that if we spent a little bit of time in the Word, that we could easily come up with, you know, a, a biblical um, yes or no to that question. Uh, I, I was thinking about the scripture earlier, um, off camera, I was thinking about the scripture where Jesus says, it's not my will that none should perish, but all would come to salvation. Um, and that scripture alone should tell you a lot. Like, okay, so Jesus is the express image of God, right? So Jesus said, I never say anything or do anything unless it's my Father's will. So if Jesus said it, or if Jesus did it, it is God's will. It's God's heart. It's, it's, it's like God on earth saying it. Like we could all agree with that. So if Jesus says, it's not my will that any would perish, and then also Jesus makes a statement later in the word. He says, like, wide is the road that leads to destruction and many people go down that road. So he says, it's not my will that any would perish. Not my will. It's not my will that any would perish. But then he also says, there's going to be a lot of people who perish. So we can just deduce from that one scripture alone that God's will doesn't always come to pass the way he wants it. It's not God's will that any would perish, but do people perish? Absolutely. People perish spiritually. People perish physically. There's people who die prematurely. There's also people who never come to receive Christ, and that's not God's will either. So God's will doesn't always come to pass the way that he wants it in his heart. And I think that that's another indicator of, you know, that do I think that that God is sovereign? Absolutely. The definition of sovereign being the main supreme ruler and authority. Absolutely he is. But I also, I'm going to say this guys, and I'm going to say it with like, uh, really walking on eggshells. I, I say it lightly. Um, and I, and I don't mean any disrespect. Uh, I'm, I'm being as, I'm being as respectful to God as I can. God plays by his own rules. Um, and God set the rules of how he wants things to go, and he's going to live by his rules and obey his own rules, which is, I've given the earth to men, and, and men are calling the shots on the earth. Now, if men call the shots in Jesus' name and walk the way that Jesus walked, then yeah, he's going to be very involved in those situations, but there's times where they're very anti-Jesus and anti-God, and there's, there's just principles to where people are reaping what they're sowing, and, and just there is an absence of light, which is darkness. I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't really see this conversation going this way. I thought it was going to be a, a whole lot more like enlightening, but let me, let me leave you guys with this, and, and then I'll be done, because obviously I'm going fishing, and I'm hoping that the end of this video is a fishing video, but let, let me at least hit you guys with the reason that I brought that up is because the idea that God either allows everything or God controls and makes everything happen on earth is not just a is not just a dangerous idea it's a hurtful idea because then if you ever had a loved one that died in a car crash if you ever had somebody who got cancer and you were praying for their healing it, things of that nature and and God either allows it or God controls things then God allowed your loved one to get cancer and, and all of those things, which the Bible is so clear about, Satan comes to steal, to kill, and destroy, but God came so that we could have life. And, it's, and the Bible is so abundantly clear of that, it's a dangerous thought and principle and road to go down, and it could really tarnish your view of the heart of God if you think that God's like, mm, yep, stamp, okay, just allow cancer in their life, that's fine. And that's not the heart of the Father. And there's people who have been lied to and said, God is in control, and I don't 
mean to be disrespectful because he is and he's sovereign, but God's not controlling who's getting cancer and who's not. God's not controlling what babies are dying and what babies aren't like that. Those are not things that God's saying, yep, nope. Like, and even that right there, even that thought. So God is the giver of life. Any spark of life that comes is straight from God. And look at how many abortions have happened in this world. So if God is in control, God brings life and God allows a woman, a young lady to get pregnant, knowing she's going to have an abortion. And it's like that is so twisted. The whole idea that God is just, you know, authoring everything and he's just not. And so I want to encourage you guys. I know it's been kind of a bonkers conversation, but I want to encourage you guys. If you've ever been told that God is completely in control and God is the reason that this happened and this happened, make sure that it make, make sure that it lines up with the MO of God, the, the operating system of God, the way that God works. And if it's something that has either hurt somebody or stole from them or killed them, it, it is not God. It's absolutely not God. He didn't allow it. He didn't want it. It wasn't his will. That's not God. He came so that we could have life. I think that's going to be it because I am on my way to fish and I'm going to shoot a little bit of fishing content. So I love you guys. And, um, you know, it's, it's been, I really didn't see this conversation going that way, but I hope you did leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we won't have full blown arguments in the comment section. I can promise you that as long as I have this channel, we will not be a channel that has all these arguments in the comment section, but you guys can always email me. We can always talk. If you have my number, then that means you're my friend. So just, just call me up. We'll talk. Okay. I'm out. All right, let's stop it. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness.